it's time for a very, very important question. Which one is the best art supply subscription box? <laughs> Hello guys, Marie here. I've opened so many art boxes on this channel and one question I received almost since the beginning of opening these boxes is which is the best art box and which one should I choose? And the boxes people are most frequently asking about is Sketchbox and Scrollerbox because these are the ones I opened the most and the longest time. I honestly love both of these boxes, that is why I keep opening them. And I found new favorite supplies in both Sketchbox and Scrollerbox. When it comes to how much I enjoy the actual art supplies that comes inside the boxes. I would say that they are very, very equal, but they still have different qualities and features that makes them different from each other and makes them unique. So I'm gonna put these two side to side and compare them so that you can decide which one you prefer and which one that fits you the best. So as you can see, scroller box is a little flatter, so it fits in my mailbox without any trouble. Sketchbox on the other hand is a little bigger and it sort of fits in my mailbox if I don't get any other mail that day. But sketchboxes always have these different artworks on them made by different artists. So let's open them and see what's inside. Sketchbox is either $25 a month or $35 depending on if you get the basic or the premium box. So there is two kinds of boxes to choose from. This is the premium box so it is a little more expensive. They are currently only shipping to the US and Canada which is $5 to the US and to Canada it's $10. They have been shipping worldwide before and they are apparently working on doing that again soon. That's what they told me at least. Scrawler box is about $19 a month, so it is a little cheaper and closer to the basic sketch box in price. They are shipping from the UK, free shipping inside the UK, and about $6 to the rest of the world, which I think is pretty affordable. And since I live in Europe and scrawler box is based in England, it doesn't have to travel all over the world to get to me, which I think is pretty good. So here we have the supplies from both boxes, Sketchbox to the left and scroller box to the right. So let's take a closer look at all these supplies. Also have in mind that of course there will be different supplies each month. Sometimes you really enjoy them and sometimes perhaps not so much. It kind of depends on what kind of art supplies you're into. But I always find something that I like. If you want a better picture of what supplies you can get, feel free to check out my playlist of all the previous boxes that I've opened. It is quite a few actually. Both boxes have new featured artists each month. The artists for these boxes are Jill Tuttle for Sketchbox and Chip Whitehouse for Scrollerbox. They both made awesome artwork. They also have a list of all the supplies. Sketchbox has even listed their retail prices, which is pretty handy if you want to get more of a specific material. Scrollerbox has an interesting thing every month which is called a scroller challenge in which you are supposed to use all the supplies that comes in the box and create something from a given word or a phrase. This box theme is workspace highlight. And we have stickers. Scrollerbox also provides us with sweets to snack on. Alright, so let's check out the supplies in Sketchbox. A full set of Derwent watercolor pencils. I know Derwent is a really good brand, but I haven't tried their watercolor pencils before. It is really nice getting a whole set of these to play around with. And these are apparently bonus items. These tiny drawing pads are from Yupo, and they have some very interesting smooth semi-matte plastic sheets in them. A water paintbrush from Karan Dark or Darch or however it's pronounced. Instead of a regular brush, it has a fiber tip like a marker. I've never seen these kinds of brushes before, so I was super curious. So I already tried it a little and that is why it isn't super clean. You suck up the water in the brush like a syringe, which is super helpful when you're filling it. A Pigma Micron Fineliner. I have a bunch of these, but I don't think I have one that is 0.8mm like this one. Lastly, we have a Sig Cure Color double-ended marker, alcohol-based, with one finer bullet nib and one brush nib. So that was Sketchbox. Let's check out Scrollerbox. 
First we have these M Lighter fluorescent pens and these smells as delicious as they look. It seems like they all have different scents from berries or fruits or something. Very interesting. A little set from Stedler called Tri Plus Mobile Office. Inside we have a black fine liner, ballpoint pen, mechanical pencil and a highlighter pen. Next we have a whole sketchbook with thicker textured cartridge paper and even if yellow isn't my favorite color, this one still looks super nice. Stabilo or Stabilo Point Max pen with a pointy bullet nib. And lastly we have three highlighter pencils from Koi Noor, my favorite brand to pronounce wrong. It says dry marker but they kind of look like regular neon colored pencils to me. So that's what color pencils really are, dry markers. So that is all the supplies. In both boxes we have something to draw on, pencils and pens to color with and some fine liners. So let's try to draw something. First I'm trying out all the supplies. I really love how opaque and vibrant the Derwent watercolor pencils are. They are very soft and blend nicely together and they are easy to dissolve with water. I'm a little confused how to clean the tip of the water brush pen though, so I just rub it on a piece of paper towel. I want to combine all supplies from both boxes and unfortunately I cannot include the Yupo pads for the artwork, but I will still try them out. It is a little like painting on plastic, which I think it is, but the color pencils doesn't seem to smudge as I expected and it works great to use water on them too. The Koinor pencils look super pretty and feels very nice to draw with. I love the neon colors and the highlighter smells so good, especially the blue one. It was in the last minute I decided to combine the supplies instead of making two separate drawings for each box, but then I had two sketches I wanted to make so I ended up making two drawings anyway, which was probably necessary since there is a lot of supplies to try out here. I've been requested to draw more dogs, so here you go, and a cat of course because you know me, and why only draw two pair of eyes when you can draw four? I thought it would look nice having them in the center fold of the sketchbook, so I did a little bit of sketching with a mechanical pencil and then outlined it with a micron fineliner. I don't like sketching with lead pencils and it really smudged a lot on this rough paper surface, but the micron fineliner is really nice to work with. I love this kind of inking process. And I love this sketchbook, I'm using a lot of different mediums on the paper and it seems like it can stand them pretty well. I had no trouble using water, markers, fine liners or pencils on it. I could absolutely consider using this more for sketches and drawings in the future. So yeah, I found a lot of new favorite art supplies in these boxes and having them arrive in my mailbox every month is like a little surprise and I'm always looking forward to that because I'm an art supply addict as you may have guessed by now. I've used watercolor pencils before and honestly I've never really got a hang of it, I've never been very pleased with the result and I was a little skeptical about this water pen brush thing but actually using these supplies together was pretty great. Uh, the water brush gave this perfect flow of water, it almost was kind of dry but not really. It was just enough to activate the watercolor pencils so that I could move them around and blend them and get this very vibrant and covering result. It worked the best if I tilted the water pen a little and used the side of the nib. It is kind of hard to explain but it was a very nice experience. What I like about Sketchbox is that many times you get full sets of supplies like these watercolor pencils, so you get a chance to really try out an art medium and one box often works great with the supplies in the previous box so you can combine them and use them together. Some of my favorite go-to brush pens for example, like the Copic Essence Feud that I use a lot, comes from different Sketchboxes. 
What I like about Scrollerbox is that they often send out supplies or brands that I never heard about and they can also be more playful sometimes. They show you that you can make art with pretty much anything. One time they even sent us tea to paint with, but they also sent out normal supplies too of course. I'm still using the Koi watercolor set that I got in the previous Scrollerbox. And having a new art challenge with each box makes it even more interesting and challenging so they are really pushing me out of my comfort zone sometime, which can be a bit scary, but also awesome. So yeah, it's really hard for me to pick a winner, since as I described, they both have different qualities that I really, really like, and has provided me with awesome supplies. But if I were to pay for an art supply subscription box myself, I would probably go with Scrawler Box, mainly because it is the one closest to where I live, and I do like the box itself of course, but if I lived in the US, I would probably go with Sketchbox, so there isn't really a winner here, but more a matter of how much you are willing to pay for a box full of art supplies, what kind of supplies you like, and where you live, and so on, but either way, it is a really good way to find out about and try out new art supplies and I can honestly recommend both of them. I hope I could help you a little in your decision by making this video. Anyway, back to the drawing and these beautiful creatures. I used the same technique with the watercolor pencils on the cat as I used on the dog. Then I went over them both with the neon Koinor pencils and highlighters to brighten them up. I really like the neon color pencils. I think they would work great on a color pencil drawing to make a certain color pop a little extra. I like the yellow highlighter too, it has more like a softer pointy bullet nib and was actually quite nice to draw with. So my favorite supplies from this sketchbox have to be the watercolor pencils, the water brush and the micron fineliner. I could definitely see myself using these again. From Scrollerbox, my favorite supplies was the sketchbook, I love the paper type, and the neon pencils, and the yellow highlighter. I think this would be great to add interesting elements to a drawing. So there you have it, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it a bit helpful. I hope you liked the artwork at least. I had so much fun working with these supplies and making these little cat and dog. I think they turned out super cute. Also, I noticed afterwards that the dog and the Yupo pads are actually matching each other. So that is all for now, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and all that fancy stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!